Hello and welcome on Sports Update on Trust TV. I'm Adeni Ajishafe. We look at those stories trending in the world of sport. As you look at uh, Nigerian team, the under-20 women team, they will be playing against uh, Burundi uh, in January. But right now, the coach, uh, really, he has uh, invited about 22 players to camp. They will be in camp till that match will be coming up between 12th and 14th uh, of January 2024. And right now, our under-20 ladies, let's look at that story first. Before we unveil our guests, we talk about Colombia 2024 under-20 women World Cup race. Danjuma calls for Lauren Shaw 22 others to camp. That makes it 23 players. Now, we look at the name of those players quickly we have about 23 players that will be going for uh, going to camp and they'll be in camp from 27 of january uh till uh till uh, the end of uh, rather till january 14 where that match will be coming up we look at the names goalkeeping department you have kane the who plays for s robo queens of lagos fato milan on nigeria tells and dalin umbechi delta queens shukrat bakari who plays for nasarawa amazons defender jumoke alani edo queens oluabu mishemilore nigeria tells oluchi ohegbulem uh, who plays for nasarawa amazons shukrat oladipo of fc robo queens of lagos comfort for Shaw, edo queens emamuzo edafe rivers angels rebecca adigbemile who plays for delta queens in the midfield you have taiwa Falabi Delta Queens, Chinjuri Kalu, who actually play a trade with Nasarawa Amazons, Amina Falorun Shaw, Rivers Angels, Shukra Shobo Ali of Nasarawa Amazons, Chioma Olise of, of Edo Queens, and Ado Jina of Nasarawa Amazons. Well, in the forward, we have Chiamaka Okuchuku from Rivers Angels, Aminas Belo on attached, Okwemi Ajakaye FC Robo Queens, Chiamaka Osuigwe of Edo Queens, Chizom Chima. Bayosa Queens, Mary Umpa, uh, Heartland Queens, you have Janet Akerunwe, Akekurunwewe, Asisat Academy, and you have Olua Yemisi Samuel of Bayosa Queens. 23 players that will be in camp where they'll be facing Burundi and hopefully they'll be able to win uh, both first and second leg of that particular uh, Colombia 2024 qualifiers that will be coming up in January and we hope that they'll be able to do well. Join us in the studio is Opa Josiah to talk sport. Good to have you Opa. It's my pleasure sir. Good mm. evening. You saw those names there and I'm sure you're happy because these days uh, our ladies it seems to be giving us so much joy when it comes to football. We tend to drive, just like you said, more joy mm -hmm. and we tend to have more confidence in what they are able to produce. And looking at the team, I am quite happy considering they are all local based. And what is quite impressive is the fact that I noticed there are about five to six names from Nasa Amazons. Mm -hmm. and and other, even other team, most of them, <clears throat> in fact, all of them are seriously home base. Yes. Home base. If you and check, home base. And what is quite fascinating is the fact that most of those that we have in the Super Falcons team now, mm -hmm. they all started from here. From here, yes. And it just shows you how this league has developed a lot of quality players in the form of Asisat, Ajibade, and the likes. Even so, Deborah, Deborah Biodun, yes, Oyele Zide. The goalkeeper we just spoke yes, about now. Yes, it's, it's quite impressive. Mm. It's quite impressive. And for these teams to be giving them the opportunity and for them to be gaining this recognition, representing the national team at the under-20 level is, is quite impressive. Um, I hope that they keep performing and keep, um, continue to perform to their very best. Being disciplined, because mm. it's one thing to perform from your youth level, and it's another thing to maintain such performance when you get to the top. But to some extent, I, I, I noticed that um, uh, in our women football, uh, you know, if you check our age grade football for men, by the time they get to so, uh, the after under on on 17, under 20, you may not even hear anything about these players anymore. But for the ladies, it seems to, you see that, uh, you know, uh, what, what's the secret there? The age thing or what? Well, because the women seem to be consistent. You see them being under 17, okay, Falconers, Flamingos, Flamingos, Falconers, Falconers to Super Falcons. It's always very common that you can see at, at least five, four players yes, that will yes. make another stage. But for the men, it's always a bit shaky. Well, a lot do happen in between the line, but one major thing we're going to look at is for the fact that the numbers in men's football is different from the numbers in the female football. Now, aside other factors, but that's one thing I would like to look at. There are a lot of football is look at uh, is it's is looked as a, a sport that only men should be interested in. It's just now that we're having women coming into into the free. Not now per se. But it's just now that we're giving some item of attention to the women, women football. But there are a lot of things involved. For instance, when 
when a player is, um, is um, involved from the under 17 level, mm. we tend not to hear about them anymore. They might just hit a jackpot in court and they find their way to Europe, Europe not Europe per se, they might find themselves in Europe where they wouldn't gain any audience, where they wouldn't be even known. So when you are not performing in a known club, nobody will know about you. So even if we are hearing that you are doing well, but because it's not uh, televised, mm. we wouldn't be able to give any evidence to your performance and you wouldn't receive any um, invitation. For all these uh, players that we are seeing now in the, in the, uh, in the place of Boniface, Terry Murphy, they were all in other places, but nobody knew them until they came to the clubs they are now. For Boniface in Bayern Leverkusen, many people did not know him. Until Before he came? He, yes. When he was but in because, Belgium? Yes, but because he's now in this team, the team is performing, they are in, the, they are in Europe, and he's performing. People are watching him, they are seeing what he does. So, that's, I think that's one of the major reasons. Many don't get called up. But for the women team, because they are all groomed here, mm -hmm. they, they tend to gain consistency in growing from one level to another, from seven, under 17, under 20. We just have a few players that, that's on the aspect of the men football, that uh, moved from one level to another. Mm -hmm. And there are those that, even if they moved, they were just ghosts. In the, in, the, in the place of Igalo, he played for the under 20. But nobody heard of him until he came to Watford mm. before the national team started calling him. So it's, it's, just, it's just as it is. But I just hope that the men will continue to, to work hard. And at the end, there will be a reward for their dedication and discipline. Mm. Well, we've been talking concerning our team, the under-20 team. They will be playing against Burundi uh, in the qualifier for Colombia 2024. That will be in January. But right now, they'll be in camp 23 of them. That will just uh, showcase their... And really, we hope our ladies will do us proud by the time that particular game will be played uh, from the 12th to 14th, uh, first leg, and all the second leg coming up, they'll be playing Abuja for the second leg. We wish our ladies the best. After all, they always give us so much joy when it comes to uh, football. Right now, we move away from Nigerian team. Let's quickly talk about uh, a match that will be coming up uh, tonight between Crystal Palace versus Brighton. Premier League, Premier League, Crystal Palace, Brighton, a big, a, a, that match is coming up. Uh, well, from this game, who are you staying with, George? It's, it's actually difficult to pick from these two games. <laughs> Considering Crystal Palace will run to bounce back from a very poor run of games. They've gone six games without a win. They've lost three out of, they've, they've lost four out of the last six. So I'm hoping that they will fight for the win today, considering they're at home. And for Brighton, um, they've really had a shaky defense. They have one of the worst defense in the league this season. So I'm hoping that Crystal Palace will put up a fight, but Brighton are really tough not to crack. Mm -hmm. Looking at their, their previous game with my beloved team, Arsenal, yeah, we really, we really put them in their place. Even their coach admitted that they've never suffered like this. So I'm hoping that they will come today as a wounded lion. Um, yeah, as a wounded lion to, to try and get the result against, against the Palace. Eagles. Yes. Well, let's see what happens between Albion, that's Brighton, OB Albion versus Crystal Palace. Can the Eagle fly higher than the bird there? Well, let's see what happens there concerning that particular game. Just, just as I said, it's a very dicey one to predict who's going to win that particular game. But we hope that uh, let the best team win. Now, we're talking about uh, football. Let's see a crossover from where they speak English to where they speak uh, Spanish. Spanish La Liga games were also played. Look at those games, table, results, and also the fixtures for today. Let's start from the results of games played. Barcelona defeated Almeria 3-2, and let's go be about 1-0. They actually picked Las Palmas. Celta Vigo uh, against uh, Villarreal in there 3-2, and the Vicente Cordon there, big one there. Well, looking at those games, a lot of goals, uh, five goal thriller are coming from Barcelona against Almeria, Villarreal against uh, Celta Vigo. Are you expecting so much goals? Mm. Not goals per se, but results. Mm. Most importantly, um, Barcelona are a team shadow of itself from the last 12 months. Considering their position last season and now, aside the position, but in terms of defending, you know, last season at this point, they've not considered so much goals like this. The entirety of last season, they only considered, I think, 20 goals in the league. But already after 16, 16 matches, they've considered that same number of goals. So that shows you how time can change with a lot of things. And just as the game was yesterday, there was little to no passion from the players. There was no aggression. A lot of errors being committed. Just as they, are, they were even lucky to come away with a win that yesterday. Because their previous games, just like the, the Champions League game against Real Antwerp, 
it was quite quite disappointing. Like a team that had the best defense last season and now flopping in terms of defending. But the result was much more expected. Everybody expected them to put up a fight and at least get a win. And they were very lucky actually to get this win. Well, from the way it is, let's go and look at La Liga table, how it is right now after that particular performance from Barcelona. Girona really are surprising everyone. Girona are doing so well. Uh, they are topping with 44 points, followed by Real. Barcelona are, are third now on the low with 38 points. And if you look at Las Palmas and Valencia standing 9 and 10. And if you flip it to the other side of the table, from 11 to 20, you have uh, Rayo Vallecano, Osasuna, Villarreal, Sevilla. The two big teams are standing 13 14. Surprisingly, having 19 and 16 points. Alaves, Mallorca, Cadiz, Elton de Vigo, Granada, and Almeria. All striving hard, especially Granada and Almeria, because they are tightening their belt or else. Mm. It seems they are not ready to stay in La Liga uh, uh, league there. Right now, we quickly look at uh, Bundesliga. Well, rather, before we go to Bundesliga, the fixtures, rather, let's look at the fixtures for tonight. Cadiz State on Real Sociedad will our own Sadiq Umar be scoring. Girona, the team that has been surprising everyone, topping the league, they'll be playing away against Real Betis. Real Madrid are second, they play away to Alavés, and Mallorca faces Osasuna. Well, Josh, looking at these games, Girona are topping, they are playing away. Yes. Madrid are second, they are playing away. Uh, so, side that we have our own star player, uh, uh, Sadiq Umar. Sadiq Umar. Well, uh, the, the game to watch here will be the Girona and Real Betis, mm -hmm. considering both teams are really, really performing. So I expect it to be a very tough game. I'm not going to pick sides in this one <laughs> because it's quite, it's quite difficult. Betis are at home, Girona away. But the last time Girona played away, they won against Barca. So you can't really rule them out in this picture mm. um, to pull the results. And for the Real Madrid, Alaves, uh, I don't see Alaves giving Real, Real Madrid. Madrid. But you know at times, uh, Giants can actually be... <laughs> yes, but... With the momentum, Real Madrid are really flying on. They are on I, fire, yes, really. Yes. Uh, especially with Jude Bellingham, all of these players. And what is quite amazing is for the fact that they've had crucial amounts of players on injury. Still, and for still them, they are still move on. It's a system, and mm. that shows you the depth that they in, have in quality that they have. Well, we're talking about uh, La Liga there right now, giving you an you know, update concerning those fixtures coming up uh, tonight over there in La Liga. Right now, we we'll cross over to Germany. Let's quickly look at match matches that were also played, games were played. But before looking at results, we talk about someone, Harry Kane. Mm -hmm. Kane scores, breaks record as Bayern P. Wolves, but he has only played 11 matches. He has scored 17 goals. The first man to do that in uh, German Bundesliga. What a man. Uh, looking at this man, he seems to be scoring goals left and right. In fact, when he's sleeping, he's scoring goals. I, I remember when he burst into the team, the 2014-15 mm. season. Being an Arsenal fan, he's in the Tottenham team. But I really admire him. I really, really do. He's one of my top, top strikers. And it's quite impressive how he has been able to maintain this level of consistency. So it's not surprising seeing him doing this in the Bundesliga, considering, <laughs> considering the level of um, competition in the mm. Premier League. So him coming to do it here is, is really, really amazing. I'm happy for him. And he's on 20 goals already in 15 mm. games. So he beat the previous record by Lewandowski, who set 20 goals mark um, at the end of fifth, uh, March Day 15. So it's, it's really, really amazing. And I hope he maintains this same, this same pace. Let's see if somebody will break the 50 goal mark by Lionel Messi. Well, a big one there, talking about Harry Kane, the man from England, really doing so well in Germany. He seems moving so Bayern has given him so much edge to wake up from uh, uh, all these years. He has been with Tottenham Hotspur, couldn't be, wasn't able to get that trophy he was looking for. But with Bayern, hopefully, who knows? Maybe Champions League is coming. Who knows, maybe German Bundesliga is also coming. Anything can happen. But really, he's scoring a lot of goals, 17 goals so far. in just by uh, Bundesliga alone in 11 matches. That's a record there. Now, let's look at the result and also the table as he actually went down uh, over there in German Bundesliga. Union Berlin 2, Cologne nil. We have a free against uh, Edenham against uh, that game and uh, 32. Leverkusen, the team where our own Victor Boniface really scoring goals to 4 nil against VFL Bowl Committee 48, Inter and Frankfurt 2, Monche Gladbach 1, Stuttgart 3, Augsburg 0, Augsburg 1, and Bayern Munich. They were able to win. That was where Hurricane 
was able to bang in the goals there. Yeah, well, a good one. But uh, Bayer Leverkusen. Now, let's look at the table. Uh, after uh, you look at Bayer Leverkusen, surprisingly, uh, Xavier Alonso has been able to turn that team to another, another team, 42 points, ahead of Bayern Munich, who are behind them with at least, from the way it is, four extra points. Yeah, with, Aren't a you game, with, with a game at hand. Aha. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm actually yearning to see Bayern Leverkusen pull off this. But at the same time, I will feel for Harry Kane. <laughs> <laughs> but really, a lot of Nigeria will want Bayern Leverkusen to yes, win because yes. of, Victor because of Boniface. And considering he's the top man here, yesterday I was disappointed not to see him start. Mm. But what impressed me was for the fact that he was introduced at the 67 minute mark and he scored. Mm around the 69th minute mark. So it's quite impressive. Whether on the, uh, on the pitch from the start or off the bench, he still performs. So it's very impressive. A big one for Bayern Leverkusen. Talking about uh, German Bundesliga. For our old man, uh, Victor Boniface, Javi Alonso. If you remember while he was playing for Liverpool, Real Madrid, fantastic player. Now he's actually instilling all those discipline in land under those coaches. So he's last now in Bayer Leverkusen. And they are doing so well. Topping the table with extra four points. 16 matches. Victor Boniface, our old Nigerian export doing so well over there in Bayer Leverkusen Colors. Congrats to him. He has done so well, but we'll still be talking about him uh, in the course of the show. But before then, let's look at goes to France. Let's look at uh, French League on matches we also play. Look at the fixtures, or rather results. Well, for uh, the man who scored on his birthday, PSG man, talking about Kylian Mbappe, 3 1. He was able to score on his birthday. Congrats to him for Brest 4 0 against Dorian, Clermont 1, Reigns 3, Rav Leon, Pippin, uh, the Pip de Nantes. Was it Simon's team? Von Neil, Montpellier one. They play one all draw against Marcel, OGC Nes two, Lawrence one, PSG three, Mers one, and you have Kylian Mbappe on his birthday scoring uh, there. Reims one, Lee Hever and Strasbourg were able to defeat Lille while Monaco play away and they won two one against Toulouse. Looking at this result, so I'm fine with the way the table is right now in the French League one. Let's look at how the table is. PSG are back to the top. They are doing so well. 40 points uh, they have over, uh, ahead of OGC in this. Monaco, Brest, Lille, Marcel, Lerns in that pecking order. If you look at from 11 to 20, you look at uh, uh, the likes of Clermont down the table with just 11 points. Lorient with 12, Toulouse with 14. Surprisingly, Leon. Leon. That's where I'm going. Josh. Well, they are coming back. From their past few games, I noticed that there have been tremendous improvements. Hmm. And um, Lacazette in particular is now banging in goals. So I hope that they will continue the, the elevation, the journey they have started to the top. Because they, they really started on a terrible note. They really started on a terrible note. And for them to pick up, it means that they, they, there is a reorientation, there is a change of mindsets, there is a shift. So I hope to see them come back to the top end of the table. It's so surprised to see Olympic Lyonnais, as they call them, but Lyon in short form uh, to be in 15th position. Well, it's happening, it's happening in almost all the leagues. You look at, uh, uh, we mentioned that club that is struggling in England, <laughs> but really, you look at uh, uh, Spain, Sevilla, Valencia, they all, or rather Villarreal, also uh, at least uh, struggling. Well, from the way it is, uh, well, for Bayer Leverkusen, our own Victor Boniface, Really doing so well. Right now, we look at some stories quickly concerning Victor Boniface. Victor Boniface wins fifth consecutive Rookie of the Month. Uh, he's, he's, he's making it so easy. Rookie of the Month, this is the fifth time. You know, it's quite surprising considering <laughs> Hurricane has more goals, mm. but still fails to win. But it just shows you that it's not just all about goals, mm. but he's uh, But this is Rookie of the Month. He has only one, he has one player of the month once. Mm. Uh, Hurricane is, at least, let's see what will happen. Hurricane will still scoop it. But for rookie of the month, you know, they are still tagging uh, Boniface as a, a, a junior player. Kind yes, of, with yes, that rookie, yes, that yes, word is, is yes. you know, you're just coming up and you are still, you are yet, you are yet to get to that Very level well. of those big boys. But really, really, yeah. a lot of the father is proving them after getting it for five times, they should change that rookie to, <laughs> <laughs> to Boniface award. Actually. Oh my goodness. He, he has really converted it to become his. Talking, um, talking about Boniface now, still talking about Boniface, we're talking about team right now. Boniface on the radar of Juventus, Milan and Napoli. That's the story we're looking at. They want to go for this man that plays for Bayer Leverkusen, mm -hmm. Napoli, AC Milan, Juventus. Big teams, three of them coming for Boniface. Well, they're all big teams, but there is one thing I really want Nigerian footballers to always, to always do. Mm -hmm. we, we, ha we barely have a Nigerian player that will be considered a legend in this present dispensation. Mm -hmm. Unlike the Kanu Wanko, the Okocha that stake their claim in a particular cup 
club and up to today they are still considered legends. Mm. But it's, it's just unfortunate that at this moment in time we barely have players that will spend a, a good number of years in a particular club and at the end it will be conferred on them that they are legends. In as much as I want him to go to a top team, but I, I wish he will stay and play more for by level because he's a, he's a top team. So I, it's a good one that they are, they are coming after him. It just shows how transformative he has been. He has been on the rise, and mm. I know that the sky is just his beginning. If you have to pick a, a team out of the three, Juve, AC Milan, and Napoli, which one would you prefer him to go? Mm. The, the old lady's style of play will fit him more. Mm. You know, yes. And he's almost built like uh, yes. Lukaku, kind yes. of. Yes, yes. So I see him he, will, like... he, will, he will suit that kind of play. He's good with the ball. Mm. He's good in the air. He's good with his feet. So he will definitely, in fact, any team, he will actually suit into any team. Let's see where Victor Boniface moves so nice, is in, Or maybe we'll see by Oliver Kelsey. But right now, they are on the roller coaster, doing so well there. Now, before we go, let's just say two more stories concerning transfer. We look at Real Madrid. I uh, could move uh, to resign. Manchester United defender Rafael Varane. Varane was their former player. He moved to Manchester United. But right now, because Alaba is injured, uh, they could be gunning for Varane. It's a, it's a really tough one, mm. but I don't see it really happening. Mm. Uh, because really, it's possible that yes. uh, Eric Ten Hag would want him to leave. I heard that Casemiro could yeah. even be staying. Yes. So we, we hear a lot of rumors. But uh, what's, that, what that, happens that's what makes it to be nice. Yes. What really happens in house is totally different from what they most push times out at times. What, what the media push, push out. You know? So I know that Real Madrid would want to sign a defender, but I don't see Varane as the option for them. Well, let's wait and see what happened there. And the last one says Arsenal. Well, the gunner, the elephant on the tree, are leading Chelsea in the race for Ivan Tony from Brentford. Ivan Tony, fantastic player. And right now, both of them from London are gunning for Tony. Well, this would be a huge gamble considering this guy here hasn't played for a for a long time. Yeah, because of the issue of yes, uh, because suspension. of the band and, mm. and everything. But he's a top player. He has been playing behind the, behind the he's door. He's been training, yes. yes. He has been playing some friendlies that are behind the doors and he's been banging in goals in those, in those training that are unofficial. But he'll be a good addition to us. But as we are pushing for the league and we're trying to get someone that we're trying to. Am I a stakeholder in that team? <laughs> <laughs> That's how all the fans will be saying, our yeah, club, yeah. my club, my club will beat so you. When the, they the, the Arsenal board are trying to add someone with strength, considering... Jesus is always in and out, and this okay. One we just have to go. We just have to go now. Yeah. Our time is up. We we'll appreciate you, Joseph Opa. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure, sir. I'm Adeni Ajisha. Sport is always business and fitness. Thanks for watching.